In this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to level up in Fasteria and don't forget to like this video because it took me forever to make this video. Well, actually not forever, just 6 hours. Anyway, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up again people to another Fasteria video. <laughs> in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to kill the monsters or like the best part, well basically how to level up fast. So. <laughs> If you really want to speed run to max level in a day, then you really want to follow this video. Well, I maxed my level in two days actually because I found money when I hit level 40. Just because I didn't really care about my level anymore at that time. But if I really wanna um, speed run my level, then I can hit max level in just like 10 hours. Anyway, since I'm gonna show you the way to level up fast, so the place that I'm gonna show you may not be the best spot to um, farm gold at your level. But hey, who cares about gold? Let's just... You know, level up first to max level and then we can farm as much as we want, right? So, first of all, you want to grab this cool sword first from the chest. Just follow me. Okay, you just want to go here. And there's like a castle right there. You just want to um, get inside the castle. And this weapon is going to be really useful anyway when you're a beginner. And there's like a merchant here. Just go back, I mean, behind the merchant and there we go. And yeah, you can just break the chest and you will get this sword, which is it will give you a weapon attack of 31 So you will um, you know save your gold so you won't um, Waste your gold. I might just use this anyway if you take a look at the best weapon at the shop. Um, wait, let me check my um, Check the damage first. Oh, it's 31. Okay, let's check the most expensive weapon at the shop It should be this pitch for well. Oh, it's 34 <laughs> three more damage but hey you don't have to spend your silvers you know because um how much was it again three silvers yeah you will save your three silvers so yeah let's just get into it okay so for level one until three well actually you can do it until level five but it's up to you you can do quests by talking to this npc you know or other npc and I mean, if you want to fight mushrooms or you want to fight enemies, then you can just go to the mushroom forest and I'm going to show you how can you get there. So you just want to go out and then there's like a um, rock path right here. And there's like a small dirt path. Just get here. Okay. And you just want to walk straight until you find mushroom in this mushroom in. Then you just want to go straight. Just follow the rock path after that. And then um, you want to turn right this side and then just follow all the way to the to the end. Oh, and there's also um, a quest that you can take from this NPC if you want to. Um, and yeah, I mean, you don't. It's not really necessary though because you just want to aim for level three or this guard. He can give you quest as well. And yeah, you want to get in. Well, actually, you can just um, kill shrooms. Any, any, I mean, like any shrooms you like. But I have like a good spot for the sh mushrooms. So you can, you know, get XP um, a lot easier. So, oh, anyway, you can just also break the chest. But it's not our main point. So, yeah, you just want to go straight. And then just want to go like a little bit to the left. Well, you can kill this room or... Um, you can just follow my best part. It's like more XP. And there we go. You can see all these rooms are there. You can just like kill them. You know, like this. And yeah, you will get a lot of XP and a lot of, you know, money. A lot of items that you can sell to the NPC later. And yeah, you can just collect them, by the way. And yeah, you want to do this until you level 3 or if you want to do it longer then you can do it until level 5 and yeah let's get to the next one so at this point once you get to level 3 or actually you can just do this method even when you're level 1 but just getting yourself to at least level 3 will help you to survive from some attacks from the enemies so that they can you know one hit you so yeah, I'm gonna time lapse this because um, we're gonna head to 
the place where we can farm later so yeah So once you've arrived at Nalgrif Town, go find a place where there's like two workers here and the one that's saying do the dumb do the dumb and they just get into this portal and here we go the great crossroad this is gonna be the place where we're gonna farm and yeah we're just gonna farm scarecrow if you guys know that so yeah once we arrive here just go straight Well, yeah, here's the place where you can farm to level 10 easily, and yeah, um, I'm gonna change the server first, so not gonna be a lot of people in here. So you wanna lure, um, the scared crowds, I'm gonna lure, um, oh, I got two of them, no. <laughs> and then you wanna make them stuck behind this wall, like this, and wait, let me change my weapon to, um, uh, to s this normal sword, up oh, into hit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I know you guys won't do it in two hits, but you know, it will take time, but just keep going And here's the clip when I was level 10. I mean when I was level 9 Yeah, this guy is tanking the scarecrow, but it's not really necessary to do that But if you have a friend that able to help you tank then that will be better Anyway, once you've reached level 10 you can start to change your class you can be mage, hunter, or warrior. While well, hunter and mage are both um, range class, or at least able to do range damage, which will be easier to farm. But if you want to pick warrior, that will be fine too, because I know how to do it with warrior. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the Nalgrif town, because um, the place is gonna be at the Nalgrif town. I mean, we're gonna get into a port after that. But yeah, here we go. Gonna go to the Nalgrif town. And you will be able to find someone fishing here and then you want to go under the bridge And that's like a seawall just get in and here we go at the Nalgar sewers So we're gonna um farm some ratty You know um so yeah I just want to go um here and just go straight there's a lot of bats in here, just try not to avoid them because they're gonna deal a lot of damage and you know, kinda hard to avoid but I mean when you're low um uh, when your level is still low. But yeah, you can go up here and you know you can um Yeah, I mean if you are hunter then you can do some range damage. I only have one arrow. <laughs> so yeah, only one try. Or there's another place where you can just go up here, you know, and Oh my god, there's a giant ratty. <laughs> I'ma kill this giant ratty first, okay? Oh, and also you can just, um, from up here, I mean from the spot that I just showed you guys, you can just, um, shoot them, you know, so you will get more XP, and come on, there we go, yay. And then you just wanna, um, stay up here, and then you wanna change to the server that doesn't have a lot of players. So, yeah, and here's some clips when I was low level, and I farm here. And if there's more than one rat is that you can just shoot like in the middle so you will save your arrow like this I only shoot once and then I make them take damage both of them so yeah there we go I just level up or you can even make three ratties take damage at once like this this is gonna save your time a lot and make you um, level up faster and if you're a warrior you can just do like this oh <laughs> he's stuck but yeah, you can just keep spamming that skills. Watch out for Batis though, because they kinda, you know, deal a lot of damage and you just wanna avoid them. But I was lucky with this one because it doesn't even hit me. So yeah. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go to the Tree of Life. Um, we're gonna start at Nightglove Town and you can just talk to this guy and, you know, 
say out like right and you can just pay 15 silvers but i mean if you don't want to pay for 15 silver then you can just follow this okay you want to find um where there's like uh, um two workers like this these two workers and i just want to get into this portal and yeah i'm gonna time lapse this so it will be faster Oh my god, what are they doing? Why does the scarecrow is hitting the um the hole? But okay, let's continue. There we go, finally we arrived at the spider dungeon. Well, you guys can just say looking for party or LFP. And hopefully someone will, you know, carry you guys and party you guys. Well, um, most likely they will party you because even though they can solo, they have to be in a party with four peoples at least. So that's why they get up, be, you know, partying you. Like this guy, um, he's looking for a party, you know. And yeah, you can just talk to this guy and then, I mean, if you are the party leader, you can just talk and there we go, you will be teleported. And yeah, just try not to die because if you don't die, you will get 1 million XP and also you will get loot. But if you die, then that will be fine. Just don't leave the party because you will still get 1 million XP for every run, which is kind of cool. You want to do this until you reach level 30. So for level 30 until 40, you can just go to this bank and there's a portal right here. And yeah, I'm gonna time lapse this so this video won't be long. So here we go. So for this one, you want to go to for second island, you want to talk to him, you want to buy the ticket for 100 silver, and then you can see the chat that he said she's leaving in 2 minutes, which means the ship will leave in 2 minutes, and yeah, we're just gonna hop into the ship, and you know, um, just try not to die, or else you will have to pay another 100 silvers for the ticket, and you have to wait for the ship, and then you will also lose some money and XP because you die, you know, and you know, but there will be some kind-hearted clerics <laughs> that will revive you. I mean, hopefully there is one. And um, also the time for the ship to arrive is 20 minutes. And after that, it will wait for another 5 minutes. So for this one, there will be two methods. The first one, you can just go into an empty server like I do. And look at this, more glows. Yeah, you can just kill them. And you will get um, 100k XP by just killing one more glow. And you can kill lots of moglos if you are in an empty server. But if you want to farm XP and also mine at the same time, then you can hop into a full server, which is, you know, um, a full server, uh, probably the boss will spawn soon. So, and anyway, the boss will spawn after it gets to four totems. So for every 500 moglo kills, it will add another totem. And also if you kill the boss, or actually you don't have to kill it, you just have to like one hit. And then you can just let all the people kill it and you will get 6 million XP from that. Or if you are a range class or you have a bow, you can just stand right here on top of the hut and then you can just start firing. 
For this one, you can continue farming at more glows because I'm not gonna lie, I get around 10 million XP every 5 until 10 minutes. Uh, or you can go to the pit bar, it just... I don't recommend to go there because it will give um, the same XP like Mogos, but I know you will get better items, but since we're just aiming for XP, so this place is still the best. If you're level 40, it's most likely that you can just 2 hits the Moglos, which you will get around 50k XP for every hit, and you know, or you can just farm the boss and get 6 minute XP at once. Anyway, that's it guys. If you think this video is helpful, please hit the thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe, share this video, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.